Welcome guys to my review of the Tech Future set. We're going to be having a look at Nero Links first. Ready for whenever catastrophe strikes, part of the Tech Future set. Alrighty, so very cool take on Links, especially the name Nero Links. It's obviously very futuristic and tech based. Very solid skin, love the textures, love the colors. It's very cool. Each one of them has obviously got their own individual, um, I'd say, color scheme along with the black. Obviously, Links being this like light baby blue kind of color. So we had to try and obviously match that up. Okay, so back bling obviously unsheaths when you use the pickaxe, which is very cool. I'll show you in a second. Matte black kitty claws for one tough cat, part of the future tech set. Uh, but the skin overall, very good. Pickaxe, very cool. I love this whole futuristic look. It's, it's crazy. Love it. Okay, so what I decided to go for for the glider was the Tron light cycle. Uh, it's obviously got the similar blue to what she's got. Contrail wise, we went for the Cobalt Cloud Break. Uh, very similar color to her again, and uh, but the closest I can find to what she's got. Uh, wraps wise, I didn't really find anything that really matches the skin, so in that case, I just go with the defaults. Uh, looks about the best. Let's jump into it. Okay, Contrail's not showing up for some reason. Let's check out the light cycle. Yeah, I think that matches her quite well, especially with the blue stream behind it. Very cool. Right, let's get to the ground. Okay, let's check out the skin. Love the flickering effect the ears have. Like a holograph of some kind. Very cool. Overall, very neat skin. Definitely worth it, as I mentioned with the pickaxes. Once it's unsheathed, it comes out of the back bling, which is pretty cool. There's your splash effect, like a lightning effect, that's very cool as well. Contrail and pickaxes, like a light blue. Okay, let's wait for night time. Okay, sun's almost down. We can check out the night time effect. I think all three of these skins are going to look amazing at night. Okay, now we can see the full glowing on the suit. As mentioned, the ears look phenomenal. Quickly spin it around. Love the glowing on the tail, looks very cool. Symbol on the mask glows, eyes glow, ears glow, back bling glows. You can see the proper contrail. Very nice. Check out the splash effect. Splash effect is stunning. Alright, next up is CRZ8, or as the OG's name is 8-Ball, hiding in the city's darkest pockets, part of the Tech Future set. So this skin I was looking forward to the most. I didn't have the opportunity to play Chapter 1 or get my hands on 8-Ball, so this is the closest I'll ever get, so I'll take it. Very, very slick skin overall. So obviously he's got the OG 8-Ball look to him. I'm not too sure if the old 8-Ball had the digital version, I'm if I remember correctly it didn't. It added like a solid white, like an 8-Ball, a pool, or snooker. Yeah, but I like the digital pink effect, very cool. Again, the design, love it. Absolutely insane on these characters. Love the back bling, again with the back bling, the pickaxes unsheath from the back bling once you equip them. Okay, pickaxes, lucky 8s. Line them up and take your shot. Okay, the back bling, tech plate 8, your number's up. Glider wise, I went for the cube cruiser, it's the only thing I have close to his colour scheme. Uh, obviously that's now going to be navy blue and pink, but you'll see in game it looks quite quite cool. Control wise, hyper flight, it's the closest thing I have to pink for him, and looks pretty cool in game. Hopefully it shows up this time. Let's jump into game. Okay, Contrail still not showing up. Nonetheless, let's check out the Cube Cruiser. Sorry, just to correct myself, it's actually purple and pink, but I think it suits him quite well. It's the closest thing I have to his colour scheme, I'd say. Alright. Pickaxe Contrail. Bright glowing pink, very cool. Splash effect, also that like electronic lightning kind of feel to it. 
Okay, let's check the skin out. Okay, so let's check out the unsheathing. Well, it's a pity that the kind of holsters stay in there. It would have been a lot cooler, I think, if they didn't stay there. It was just an 8 on his back, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Okay, so here's the nighttime effect. Slight glow on the pickaxes. Skin itself, only really the face that glows, but it looks insanely sick. I was expecting more parts to glow, to be honest, but that's fine. And you've got the digital 8 on the back glowing as well. Alright, guys and girls, let's have a look at my favourite. Okay, last but not least, we have P33LY, otherwise known as Pili. Okay, Nana's Banana Assassin. Part of the Tech Future set, Chapter 2, Season 8, obviously. So, my favourite part about the skin is, firstly, it's my first Pili that I own. Secondly, as we've mentioned, a very futuristic looking Pili, which is awesome. We've got all the wiring sticking out of his head there. Banana peels are like metal looking... Very, very cool. Uh, also, the animated eyes, I absolutely adore. As I'll show you with a couple of emotes, it's insane what you can do with this, with these eyes. Let's have a look. So, firstly, as I mentioned, the animated eyes look insane. Depending on what emote you do, they've got different animations: the sad, the anxious, the angry, shocked. It's so cool, the amount of things that these eyes can do. <laughs> I mean, look at that, running Peely. Even the blinking is insane on this. Another example would be the zombies. Script is normal. So yeah, you can see a lot of the animations in his eyes. Very cool. Love that about him. Okay, so back to the skin. As you guys can see, the skin itself, very metallic look. Kind of like, I'm not sure if that's cyborg sleeves or cyborg arms, but very cool concept. Obviously he's wearing goggles. Obviously suit which is pretty cool um, details are amazing on this suit the yellow on the black very very well done okay back bling nanotech blade make like a nano and flay part of the tech future set so again this unsheaths when equipped or unequipped rather the so this pickaxe looks insane on a lot of the skins including the eight ball um, I'll try it on him. The only problem is obviously it's yellow and pink, but it's it's a very durable back bling and um, pickaxe. Pickaxe itself, nanotech blade, make like a nano and flay, so it's the same as the back bling again. Okay, for the glider, I've gone for the IO stealth sail. It's the only glider I have with black and yellow that kind of suits him, or looks around about the same. Contrail, I'm using the zip ribbons because it's the only yellow one I have, but again, we're probably not going to see it in Bat Lab, so yeah, let's check it out in game, guys. Okay, so unfortunately, again, Contrail not showing up. Let's check out the IO Stealth Sail. So, as I say, it's very close to his kind of look, the black and the yellow. Closest thing we have. Skin overall looks insane. Unsheathed, sword looks amazing. I don't know if you should call it a katana or a sword, but I'm not too sure. Let's go with the katana, it's got that kind of feel to it. Okay, so let's find some shade. Okay, control for the pickaxe. Slight yellow, it's not very bright, but it's there. Check the splash effect. Splash effect is different to the others. Obviously, it's got kind of like a. Uh, motion off to hit the wall which is quite funny very very cool skin okay so as we mentioned the eyes are quite animated which I'll show you in a couple of emotes in a moment but even there you can see it already 
range of things that eyes do which is very cool and obviously we'll have to wait for night time to check out the glowing bits I've got a feeling it's just going to be the eyes and maybe there's little sparks at the top there coming from his peel but uh, no I think it's a very very cool skin I'm very amped for the skin okay here's the unsheathing of the pickaxe The pickaxe has got a slight glimmer on it when you take unsheath it at the end there. Pretty cool. But we've also reached the night time, so now we can check out the skin properly. Yeah, as I thought, the eyes are the only glowing part. But guys, this pack is well worth it. This is probably my favorite pack, I'd probably say, ever in this game. The amount of detail that taken into it or put into it and the I love the future tech style of these characters it's insane and like I said it's three of my favorite characters I've always wanted and I never had the opportunity to get them in chapter one if you guys are considering buying this it's a definite 10 out of 10 for me so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you next time